And we say hello to Ambassador Francis Rooney. Hello, Mr. Ambassador. Welcome back. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. I'm sorry to have to call you, but, um, you know, in our conversation that you and I had, uh, you talked about Obama and the Obama administration and uh, what he has done. And here we go with uh, maybe the straw that breaks the camel's back if it hasn't been broken already. And that is that uh, the announcement, very much under the radar in the mainstream media, the announcement that uh, the U.S. State Department is planning to close its embassy uh, to the Holy See or in the Holy See, citing security concerns. And they, you know, they temper it by saying, well, you know, we're going to move it to uh, another part of Italy where everybody else is. But uh, this is this is huge, is it not? Well, I, I think it's a very bad step for a variety of reasons. The the uh, regardless of what you think about the building on the Aventine Hill and, you know, security people can make arguments about anything. And that building does have some issues with its big picture windows. The fact is co-location of the Vatican mission on the premises of Embassy Rome, mixing it in with Embassy Rome would be a huge uh, diminution of the of the role, of the perception of the role of the Holy See mission in Rome before the church and in the world. I, I think it's a really bad mistake. Uh, it, it's being called uh, by some a slap in the face um, to, to, uh, to, to Catholics. Uh, do you agree with that? Well, no, I don't know that I would personalize it. I think that the, the, the thing is, a freestanding mission says a lot about the United States' emphasis and the value that it places on the Holy See mission. When the mission's co-located, it's inevitable that there's a reduction of stature, and that's not a good thing because the, the opportunity for the United States, for all the reasons we talked about before, to conduct a strong and vibrant diplomacy aligned with the Holy See is good for both parties and good for the world. And, uh, you know, most countries, I mean, it's not like the United States is the only one that has uh, uh, the, the, the two embassies, uh, one to the country of Italy and another uh, to the Holy See. So, um, I, I mean, do you see this as a, as, a, as a trendsetter? Well, there have been a few other missions that have co-located, citing cost issues. But, I mean, come on, in the size of the government of the United States, in the size of our diplomatic uh, outreach of embassies all around the world, this is a, uh, not a money issue. Well, so so what what do you believe it is then? I mean, you you, you talk about that there, you know, there are there can be uh, you know uh, uh, security issues and security concerns uh, that would be legitimate, uh, but I'm sure it could be addressed. And and uh, it's not a money issue, so financially, uh, it, it's it's not that uh, that big a deal. So what what do you think? I mean, do you think in the context of who Barack Obama has been and what he has done, do you believe that there's a message here or or an underlying uh, uh, reason that uh, you know that uh, we have to dig a little bit to get to? Um, I don't know. We, we, we've talked a lot about the secularism business and some of the things that are going on in, in the administration, which are, which make its relationship attenuated to the Holy City and a much more secular uh, operation than certainly George Bush's. But I don't know that I could say that we've seen that motive here. I think part of what we've seen here is that the the embassy Rome, uh, when uh, uh, in the, President Bush's first term, bought some more property adjacent to it, and I think there's been a concerted effort on the part of the State Department to fill it up, which I can understand, but I don't want to see them fill it up at the expense of the independence and the perceived uh, importance to the United States of its mission to the Holy See. Okay, that's so, a terrible... so we're talking to Ambassador Francis Rooney, former U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See here on the Steve Malzberg Show, and his book uh, just out uh, just a few weeks ago is the Global Vatican, which talks about the significance and talk, talks about how, uh, you know, this, this was uh, something that, uh, that just came about in, in the 70s. It took so long, or I think it was the 70s, um, and, and, and we talked about why it had taken so long, et cetera. So, so besides the, the physical move, um, and I know what you said, you hope it doesn't uh, uh, signify, but, but what, what does it mean, if, if, if not symbolically, then in real terms? I mean, what are the risks here, in your view, by making this move? Well, I, I think the risks are that the Holy See mission become perceived as a stepchild and uh, have less resources over time and be more dependent on Embassy Rome for its resources than it's heretofore been. You know how bureaucracies work. If you don't have a place and you don't have an independent source of resources, then you become subsumed into wherever place you have to get your resources from. Yeah. Well, I, go ahead. Well, I think that's that's the big risk. If they if they don't like the building 
then the building could be hardened up. But if they don't like the building, there's a lot of other places where they could go find a different physical facility uh, and that it was, would be easier to harden up than to keep uh, Villa Dimensiana there in the Aventine Hill. The, it's not about that building. It's about having an independent presence. Right. Now, the, uh, the, the current U.S. Ambassador, Ken Hackett, uh, is quoted in a, in a piece at uh, uh, National Review Online, or I believe it's at National Review Online, I could be wrong, but saying the relationship between the Vatican and the U.S. government hasn't been better than it is right now in quite a while. Do you believe that? Uh, well, I wouldn't want to disagree with the sitting ambassador, and maybe he has a, he's entitled, he has an opinion about you know the way he sees it, but certainly there have been a lot of things that have happened in the last six years that have uh, moved the, the church and the uh, and the Holy See apart, or the, move the Holy See and the Church apart from the positions taken by the Obama administration, and it's no secret that he they have been less than enthusiastic about embracing the Holy See as a diplomatic partner. Now, uh, you have uh, are you encouraged by the fact that the U.S. Supreme Court today uh, agreed to hear the case uh, by uh, brought by uh, Holly, uh, Hobby Lobby and others uh, with regard to um, uh, Obamacare and contraception. I am, and I'm thankful to the Green family, who's from Oklahoma, by the way, uh, and, and for bringing that case, as I am thankful to Notre Dame and many other uh, American Catholic colleges for trying to continue to chip away at this attack on the First Amendment. And when you talk about over the last uh, few years and what the Obama administration has done to maybe uh, uh, put a little crimp in the relationship between the, 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 the Vatican and, and uh, the United States, that, that has to be one of the things you're referring to. I remember from our last chat, what else uh, are you referring to? Well, you know, you had the Hosanna versus Tabor case, which fortunately uh, was decided in favor of religion about how what religious institutions can do with their employees. You know, now you've got the... Uh, the, uh, the the deal we're talking about now with the health mandate running into the uh, religious beliefs of the of, of religious institutions in the First Amendment. I don't know what will be next. Uh, there were rumors that the, the president uh, was going to close the Holy See mission. At least he didn't do that. And hopefully we'll be able to – someone will be able to convince the State Department that it's not worth the loss in prestige and independence and ability to function diplomatically – um, as it is the cost of money to co-locate our embassy there. Yeah. All right. Mr. Ambassador, a pleasure to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you, Steve. Same, same to you. Thank you. That's Ambassador Francis Rooney, former U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See, uh, author of The Global Vatican, uh, here on the Steve Malzberg Show. Um, it, we're going to be joined by uh, our friend Bill Donahue, the president of the Catholic League, live in studio in the next segment. And uh, Bill's not only going to weigh in on this, but he's going to weigh in on Dan Savage, who we, we touched on briefly yesterday. We're going to let you hear what he had to say on Bill Maher's show. And uh, Bill Donahue has had it up to here. And if you're listening on radio, I got my finger, my, my hand up to above my nose, actually. Not even to my throat, but above my nose, which means I would be drowning, I guess. So he'll talk about that. And the Pope has made some comments regarding capitalism which uh, Bill Donahue will weigh in on as well, then Alan Dershowitz. All right, we're coming back. It's the Steve Malzberg Show. We're just getting started right here on Newsmax TV and radio.